ایک توجہ فرمائیں آٹھ کو تین پر تقسیم کرو تو ٹو تھری زیادہ سکس ریمینڈر کیا آتا ہے ٹو اب ایک ایسا نمبر فار ایگزمپل الیون الیون کو ٹرائی کرو تھری تھری زیادہ نائن ریمینڈر کیا رہا ہے ٹو تو اگر دو نمبروں کا تھری پر تقسیم سے ریمینڈر سیم آ گیا تو یہ نمبر اس کو کانگرونٹ ہوگا یعنی الیون ویل بی الیون ویل بی کانگرونٹ ٹو ایٹ مارڈل آف تھری ہاں ریمینڈر آر دی سیم The numbers will be congruent modulus of 3 and if they are congruent, the remainder will be the same. In if and only if hai. Yes. You can tell me? Yes. If and only if, basically. I want to tell you this. So, I will tell you this again, because I will tell you this student. Okay? I will tell you this again. If you have a congruent relation, that means one number is congruent, that means that they are different from the other one, that means that they are different from the other one, that means that they are different from the other one. This is a fact. What is the fact? कि अगर आप उनको इस मॉडल पर तकसीम करोगे तो रिमाइंडर सेम आएंगे इसका कन्वर्स भी ट्रू है यानी अगर रिमाइंडर दो नंबरों के डिवीजन के बाद सेम आ रहे हैं तो वो काम गुरुवर्ट होंगे अब इसके और हमको प्रूफ करना चाह रहे हैं क्या करना चाह रहे हैं तो इसका प्रूफ कैसे हम करेंगे हम तो जो फरमाएं जहाँ आपका सवाल आता है मुझे वहाँ रोक गया तो प्लीज आगे भी हैं कि वास्तव में सो क्यों हम हैं आई होप ना आपको नजर आ रहा है लेट ए बी बी टू इंटीजर्स ए बी हमारे पास दो इंटीजर्स हैं اور مزید کی بات یہ ہے کہ وہ ایک دوسرے کو کانگرومنٹ ہوں گے If and only if A and B have the same remainders after a division by M If they are congruent model of M they will be having same remainder after a division by M Catwars is also true If two integers have same remainders after a division by M they will be congruent If congruent remainder will be the same and if remainder are the same they will be congruent तो इस तरह को क्या करना है प्रूफ करना है। सो प्रूफ है सपोज दैट ए इस काम को अगर हमने पहले ये सपोज किया ये प्रूफ करेंगे फिर ये सपोज करेंगे ये प्रूफ करेंगे तो हम का अंदाज़ी यही है, ठीक है? और इसके इंप्लिकेशंस हैं मुसल्लम यूज़ेस हैं इसके। इसके क्या हैं इंप्लिकेशंस हैं रियल वर्ड अच्छा हमने सपोज किया ए इस काम करने तो बी मार्ग लगे हैं हमने ये सपोज किया हमारा टारगेट क्या होगा ए एंड बी हैव सेम रिमेंडर्स आफ्टर डिविशन बाय दमार लगे अच्छा नाउ इफ दे आर काम करने बाय डेफिनेशन इन बीज एंड एम डिवाइड्स द डिफरेंस और कुछ भी मतलब इसका नहीं अच्छा अब हमने सपोज किया कि ए को हमने जब एम पर اور بھی کو بھی جب ہم نے ایم پر تقسیم کیا تو ریمینڈر آر ٹو آ گیا ہمارا ٹارگیٹ یہ ہے کہ یہ ریمینڈر آپ اس میں برابر ہے کیونکہ جب اے کانگرون کو بھی ہے تو ہمارا ٹارگیٹ ہے یہ دونوں ریمینڈر آپ اس میں کیا ہوں گے برابر ہوں گے یہ فیکٹ ہمیں پروف کرنا ہے میں بیٹی کی جو سکل ہے اس سے اچھا اچھا بچو تو جو فرمائے یہاں سے اس اس کیلکولیشن کو میں نے ایسے لکھ لیا ریکولیٹ کیورم کے مطابق A is congruent to M cube M plus R1. Look at that. The remainder is always less than the divisor. Similarly, B is equal to M cube 2 R2 by a three-quarter theorem. And the remainder is always less than the divisor. Three-quarter theorem. Now subtract them. When you subtract them, A minus B, these two are subtract and these are subtracted. We have this equation. Do remember our target is to make the remainder same. Okay. And we know that if R1 is less than M, R2 is less than M, then their difference is also less than M. Even if you take the absolute, no problem. Okay. Since from here, if you see, as you suppose this, and it means this, as M divides A minus B. So focus, M divides A minus B. No problem, we know this, as we have supposed that. Also, M divides this quantity. Why? Because this is multiple of M. So M will divide also this quantity as well. Why? What is the reason? We know that if ha linear combination. Imagine you are right, linear combination. So it means that M divides R1 minus R2 as well. If it divides this, this their difference as well. So we mean this. But this quantity is less than M. This is integer. And even its absolute is less than M. Even if you make it positive, it means that it cannot be negative. It means if it's absolute, it doesn't mean that it is small intrusions. It means only possibility it must be zero. It must be zero. For example, let me tell you, like 3 divides minus 2, not possible. 
if make it as 3 doesn't divide. But if there is a number and smaller than a number and it divides, it means that it must be 0. The only possibility. This must be 0. Therefore, this quantity is basically 0 and hence R1 is equal to R2. Therefore, if you come over here, if A is congruent to B modulo of M, then A and B will be having the same remainders of the division by M. And this is very easy theorem. If you see, in few steps we have done it. We could have theorem, we could have theorem subtraction, and this basic thing, this is smaller than M, and M divide this quantity, M divide this, so M divide this. But if M divide this, this is in truth is smaller than M, the only possibility it must be zero. And hence R1 is equal to R2. So very simple. Half of the theorem is true. So you can pass it. Half theorem, hey, we are going to prove half of the theorem. Conversely, let us suppose that A and B have same remainders after division by M. That is uh, R1 is equal to R2. What is our target? Our target is to we will prove that A is congruent to B modulo of M. That, that is M divides their difference. Since we suppose that the remainder of these two integers a and b are equal after division by m, and this is our target, what you need to do? You simply put r1 is equal to r2. If you see over here, my dear student, in this basic equation, from where we got this equation? After division a by m, and after division b by the module of m, and we simply subtracted them and we got this equation. Simply put R1 is equal to R2 in this equation and you will get your result very easily. Let's see how. Can you help me out? A minus B is equal to M Q1 minus Q2. As R1 minus R2 will become 0 because the remainders are the same. Yes. Can, can anybody tell me? It is nothing but the definition of divisibility. That A minus B is multiple of M. Yes. And it is nothing but the definition of congruence. Yes. If this positive integer divides the difference, it means nothing but we write A is congruent to B modulo of M. And hence the result follows.